would like to switch on the power of God, uh, we would like to see the power of God make a difference in someone's life. We would like to see, you know, Paul, there's a time he was writing to the Corinthians. I think it is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4 or something. He told them that when I came to you, my preaching was not with clever words. Or the, I think the NIV says, was not with convincing words of human wisdom but it was with a demonstration of the Holy Spirit and power. Are you with me? First, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse, verse 4, I think. It said, my preaching was not, when I came to you, my preaching was not with convincing words of human wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Holy Spirit and of power. We would like to see the power of God demonstrated in someone's life. We would like to see the Holy Spirit demonstrated in someone's life. Are you ready for this? We need to see the power of God in a family. We need to see the power of God in your child's life, in your mother's life, in your, you know. Our God is powerful. Our God is mighty. Our God is stronger. Our God is greater. And we would like to see that power switched on. Yeah. We'd like to see that power switched on this night. Yeah. So it's a power night. Hallelujah. It's a power night. And I believe God for somebody. I believe God. You know, I was reading something about the power of God. You know what I'm talking about? Switching on this power. We had a sermon last week in one of the lunch hours. Uh, it was entitled, Switch on the Blessing. One of our daughters blessed us so much with that sermon. Those who attended remember that sermon. Switch on the Blessing. Since then, we have been switching on the blessing and been seeing great things happen. The gist of that sermon was that the blessing is already with us. The Bible says God has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed be the Lord God, Second Peter, Second, no, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Yeah, Ephesians 1, verse 3 says, Blessed be the Lord God who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So the gist of that message was we have already been blessed. Eh? The blessing has already been bestowed on us. But we need to switch it on for it to be manifested in our lives. The same way you can have power in your house, but all the bulbs, all the gadgets and what they are off. But as long as the, the meter reading is on at that yaka meter, it means there is power in the house and all you need to do is to switch on the power. Ah, that revelation is just blessing us. Are you getting this? So, the power of God is in you. Yes. The power of God is in you. And that is the first thing I want to convince you of tonight. That the power of God, if you are saved, if you are born again, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, the power of God is in you. As a matter of fact, 
Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Jesus told them, you shall receive power. You see? You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes on you. So it's like, you know, when you build your house and then you, uh, you get an electrician, and wires, puts wires, puts sockets and whatever, and then they give you the wiring certificate and then eventually you go to the power distributor and you ask for your house to be connected. You know, the day you are connected, whether the gadgets are switched on or not, there is power in the house. Now that power can light a bulb, that power can cook a meal, that power can make food hot, can also make food cold. Power can iron a shirt. That power can also <laughs> make clothes wrinkled in the washing machine. Are you getting me? It's about how the power is distributed and appropriated. The power of God is in you. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Now, I don't know about you, child of God, but for me, I believe that the Holy Spirit came upon me. How many believe the Holy Spirit came upon you? If you believe that, just type in the chat and say, I do. If you're not sure, I'm praying for you. I'm going to pray for you that the Holy Spirit comes upon you tonight. Now, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, anybody who is unsure whether they are filled with the Holy Spirit whether they receive the Holy Spirit, I pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit come upon them in such a mighty way in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. So, if the Holy Spirit came upon us, then it goes without saying that we received if the Holy Spirit came upon you, the Holy Spirit came upon me, then I received power. Now, whether that power is manifesting is another thing altogether. But the power is resident in me. Can you imagine? The power of God is resident. I received power. I carry power. Paul prayed for the Ephesians. He was praying for them. I want us to see this portion of scripture. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 19. Ephesians 1 19, he prayed for them. And from verse 17, he said, For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, in the deep knowledge of him, having the eyes of your heart flooded with light, so that you can know and understand the hope which has called you, and how rich is his glorious inheritance in the saints. Verse 19. I want you to see verse 19 very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. And so that you can know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty spirit. Hallelujah. So that you can know. No, so this power, is, you know, the power is in us, but it takes a revelation. Paul had to pray for the Ephesians that they would know that they had this power in them. It takes a revelation. I pray that as I share, as you attend tonight, you will have this revelation you will know, you will understand the immeasurable, the unlimited, 
the surpassing greatness of his power in and for you. Hallelujah. The power of God is in you and is for you. Ah. Uh, when, when you get this, you begin to realize that, that disease is soon going to be his prey. That tumor will soon be his prey. That situation will still be his prey. Because the power we are talking about is dunamis. The power we are talking about, when the Bible gets to describe it, it says it is unlimited. It has surpassing greatness. And that power is resident on your inside. Tonight, we're just going to switch it off. Actually, when you get a revelation, it gets switched on. Some of us, it's getting switched on right now. The power of God is in you and is for you. You know, Ephesians, Paul really spent time trying to tell them about the power of God. I want us to go to chapter 3, verse 20. See what he did about the, what he said about the power. He's talking about God. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 says, Now, to him who by consequence and action of his power that is at work within us. You hear that? To him who by consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us. Now, do you see what the power does? Is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly, far over and above all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. That is what is available for you, child of God. Ah. Is this, is this becoming exciting for you? The power that you have on your inside. It, it, God, when you get this revelation, then God will do by means of this power in you. So, so all the prayers you have been asking, things you have been talking about, the answer is going to come through what is on your inside. A, the healing, the breakthrough, the miracle. <laughs> what God will use to bring it, you have been carrying it on your inside all along. Now to him who is able to do super abundantly, far over, above all that we would ever ask or think. That, that verse 20, I want you to listen to how the message puts it. God can do anything, you know? <laughs> that is how it starts. God can do anything, you know? Far more than you could ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us. His spirit deeply and gently within us. God can do anything. In the name of Jesus, may that power within you be switched on to deal with every situation that you have been dealing with. Let the power of God be switched on to deal with whatever has been an impossibility in your situation. In the mighty name of Jesus, God can do anything. He can do Above what we can ever imagine or guess. I, I, I liked the, um, the, the New Living Translation. It says, now glory be to God by his mighty power at work within us. You see where the power is situated? Within I want you to write in that chart and say, it's within me. Write in the chart and say, it's within me. The power is within me. The power is in me. It's within me. It's 
with the, you have been carrying it around. You have been carrying it around. You sleep with it. You walk with it. Every day you are with it. When you're crying, you're crying with it. When you're lamenting, you're lamenting with it. Ah, when you're worried, you're worried with it. When you're confessing negatively, you're confessing negatively with the power within you. Oh, it's within you. Now, glory be to God by his mighty power at work within us. He is able to accomplish infinitely more than we would ever ask or hope. Yeah. Infinitely. But for me, the best translation for me today when I was studying this verse was the passion. The passion. I, I studied in many versions, but the passion translation. The Passion Translation says, Never doubt God's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request. <laughs> I can't even stop there. He will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request. Your most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination. He will outdo them all for his miraculous power constantly energizes you. Ah. 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 Are you getting me? In the name of Jesus, by his mighty power, I command HIV to die. In the name of Jesus, I command stubborn infections to die. I command tumors to disappear by means of his power that is at work in us. In the name of Jesus, paralysis leaves, stroke goes in the mighty name of Jesus. I command stroke to go in the name of Jesus. Every migraine go in the name of Jesus by means of the power that is at work in us, the power that works beyond the wildest dreams, beyond our wildest dreams. Let the power bring healing to a marriage this evening. Let power cause healing of allergies. Let power cause swellings to disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus, osteoporosis, go in the name of Jesus. Every bone condition, every muscle condition goes. We switch on the power of God this night in the name of Jesus. The power of God makes every nightmare to cease. The power of God overcomes every spirit husband in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of God, in the name of Jesus, that, that God eh, will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request i don't know what your request has been but your greatest request the power of god will achieve more than it he will exceed your wildest imagination in the name of jesus let the power of god let God exceed someone's wildest imagination. Like let God do something in your life that will cause the ears of those who hear it to tingle in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God cause growths to disappear out of your system in the name of Jesus. Let God give you new organs by means of his power that is at work in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let God give you a new set of eyes. A new set of eyes. I believe that God is healing someone's eyes. In the name of Jesus, I believe that by the power of God, God is giving somebody a new set of eyes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every stubborn condition, P-U-D, be gone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of every stubborn condition, by the power of God, 
this incomparably great power that is at work in us who believe. The power that we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, when you read Ephesians 1.20, it talks about, it says this power, it is like the shaking of the mighty strength which God exerted on Jesus when he raised him from the dead. The power that is resident on our inside is the power that raised Jesus from the dead. It, it is resurrecting power. This power raises things from the dead. God who calls, uh, who calls, who raises the dead and calls things that are not as though they are. By what? By this power. Power. In the name of Jesus, anything that has died, we call it to life by means of this power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I really call a marriage back to life by this power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I summon the marriage back to life. I raise a marriage from the dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, stubborn conditions in the body cease, go, die. In the name of Jesus, by the power of God. We switch on the power. As we are praying this night, we are switching on the power. That's how we switch on the power. You know, when we are laying hands on people, we are switching on the power. When we are declaring healing, we are switching on power. Because the Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. So when we are speaking for the word of God, we are switching on the power to do that which we are declaring to be done in the name of Jesus. When we are commanding things to happen in the name of Jesus, we are switching on the power. Because as we speak it, the power of God is switched on to do those things. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God, Son of the living God. You know, the effectual, Bible says, James chapter 5, let me show you, but chapter 5, verse number I think 14b, um, I believe that your life shall never be the same. And don't just stop with today, with this seminar. After today, continue switching on the power. Continue switching on. Just know the power is on my inside. So I switch it on. I switch on the power to handle this. I switch on the power to, I release the power to handle this. I release the power to, I release the power. This power even makes wealth. Yeah. The power we are talking about even makes wealth. The Bible says God gives us power to make wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. So that he can fulfill his covenant. Ah, glory to God. Activate the power, child of God. Activate the power. Activate the power. Yeah, James chapter 5, verse 16. Verse 16. Ah. It says, part B, eh? the Amplified says, the honest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Yes, as we are praying, we are making this, we are, we are switching on. Prayer switches on the power. That's why, child of God, you should pray like never before. You should pray. You should, you know, put in more hours of prayer. You should be part of our morning glories in the morning when we are praying. You should be part of our lunch hours every single day. Monday to Friday, we have lunch hour here. Every single day, we morning 5 to 6 a.m., we have prayer here. We are switching on the power. The earnest heartfelt, continued. You see that? Continued. It's not a once-off. It's not a like hit and run. It is continued. Ayaboko. The honest, heartfelt, continued, continued. The continued prayer. The continued. Like you, you refuse to stop. You keep on praying. The pain continues. You keep on praying. The thing stays there. You keep on praying. You tell the thing out, I will outlive you. You just keep spinning the condition. Tell it, I will outlive you. You will die before I die. In the name of Jesus. I tell you, I speak to every one of those conditions. You will outlive them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your relatives will 
will outlive those things in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, you pray, you go and do a, the HIV test, and the thing still stays, it's positive. You tell the HIV, I will outlive you, you foolish HIV. I will outlive you in the name of Jesus. You will die before I die in the mighty name of Jesus. The earnest, heartfelt, continued continued you continue you just continue you just stay you just keep on praying when you do that the bible says it that prayer it makes tremendous power tremendous power available yeah we pray until tremendous power is made available for you. You, you pray until tremendous power is made available for your son who has gone wayward. Maybe your son is in drinking or something. You keep on praying until tremendous power becomes available and suddenly he becomes sober in the name of Jesus. You keep on praying until tremendous power becomes available for your church. You keep on praying until tremendous power becomes available for your family. You keep on praying until tremendous power becomes available for your husband. You keep on praying until tremendous power ah, Tremendous power becomes available in your marriage. Tremendous power. Yeah. Minister, dear minister, you can pray until tremendous power becomes available for your ministry, for your studies, for your, for your business, for your, you know, tremendous power. Ah, it makes tremendous power available, dynamic dynamic in its working you hear that dynamic this power is dynamic dynamic in its working receive that power i switch on that power in your life i make that power available for you in the name of jesus this power is available to you this power the bible says by faith sarah received power to conceive a child by faith sarah this power can cause a woman to conceive that you know <laughs> Ah, Bakosa. Pastor David gave us, uh, in the Transformed Conference, gave us a testimony about a woman. They did a scan, okay? The scan said she didn't have a uterus. She, they prayed for her. She conceived. She carried a pregnancy. And then she delivered. After delivering, they did a scan again. And the scan said she didn't have a uterus. Tremendous power! Dynamic in its working. The power of God, the power of God, it makes tremendous power, dynamic in its working, dynamic in its work, tremendous power, tremendous power that burns up, tremendous power that destroys viruses, tremendous power that changes genetic makeup, tremendous power. Tremendous power, Kurabo Sakaya. Tremendous power that causes somebody to start coming to church who had said they can never come to your churches. Tremendous power, tremendous power. Yes, is somebody with me? Switch on that power, child of God. It is in you. Switch it on. Switch it on. Write in the chat and say, I'm switching it on. I am switching it on. Glory, glory, glory. I'm switching it on. Tremendous power. Tremendous power. Ah. <laughs> the, tra the Passion Translation says, For tremendous power is released through passionate, heartfelt prayer of a godly believer. Me, I'm a godly believer. Aren't you a godly believer? Ah. Yeah, we are godly. We are godly. The prayer of a righteous man. I'm a righteous man. The Bible says I'm righteous in Christ Jesus. I'm righteous. Jesus became sin so that I become the righteousness of God. I'm a righteous man. I'm a godly man. The, the effectual fervent prayer, the continued prayer, my prayer switches on the power. My prayer, I release the power in every area of my life. I release the power to destroy every allergy. I release the power to destroy every stubborn condition. In the mighty name of the child of God, dispense, dispense the power. 
send, I don't know which area it is, but send the power, direct the power there, direct the power there, release the power there, release the power in the different areas, release the power, release the power. This power, this power can cause somebody to suddenly hate the alcohol they've been loving so much. Yeah, this power, this power, one of those days the power came upon me, I had a cigarette in my hand, I dropped it, and that was it. I was in S1. This power, uh, tremendous power, dynamic in its working, the honest, heartfelt, continued prayer. Let them tell you but it hasn't happened yet. You just tell them, I'm continuing in prayer. Let them tell you, as you're not married yet, tell them, I'm continuing in prayer. Let them say, as you still have the condition, tell them, I'm continuing in prayer. Tell, let them say, as if it's not working, tell them, I'm continuing in prayer. That was Elijah. He prayed. He sent the servant. Is there any rain? He said, no. He said, I'm continuing in prayer. Go back and check. He came back second time. Is there anything? Nothing. He said, I'm continuing in prayer. I'm continuing in prayer. I'm continuing. Third time, is there anything? Nothing. He said, I'm continuing in prayer. We, we are not told how long he continued. We are not told how long the servants took to come and go, to come and go. But Elijah continued. Elijah continued. I want you to write in the chat and say, I'm continuing in prayer. I don't know what condition it is, but we are continuing in prayer. I am continuing in prayer until tremendous power is made available. I'm continuing in prayer until tremendous power is made available. That's yeah, as if you lost the other baby again. I'm continuing in prayer. As if you got a miscarriage again. I'm continuing in prayer. As if the tests are still positive. I'm continuing in prayer. As if the you, 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 uh, person is not yet coming to church. I am continuing in prayer. As if the church is still empty. I'm continuing in prayer. Prayer. As if people are not coming, I'm continuing in prayer. As if that lady that you've been praying for is still barren, I am continuing in prayer. I am continuing in prayer until tremendous power. One of those days which we talked about yesterday, eh? one of those days which we talked about yesterday, when your day comes, when your day comes, tremendous power is going to be released in torrents. Tremendous power is going to be released. And when power is released, everything falls in place. Everything aligns itself. One of those days, tremendous power is going to be released. It's going to be released. It's going to be released. And then you and your wife will start talking again. And you talk and talk and talk and talk and you even talk when the pastor is preaching because you're trying to compensate. Talk in church, talk where, talk in fellowship, talk where because you're compensating for all your silent treatment. Ah, in the name of Jesus, I am continuing in prayer. Continuing in prayer until this marriage is better. I'm continuing in prayer. Until this church grows, I'm continuing in prayer. Until so and so gets saved, I'm continuing in prayer. Until this tumor disappears, I can't die. The tumor has to die before I die. I'm continuing in prayer. I'm investing in prayer because the effect of fervent prayer, the continued prayer of a godly man, makes tremendous power available. I will continue in prayer until the power of God is switched on. I can't die. I will pray until there is a cloud as small as a man's hand. I will pray until I go for the scan and they say, the cyst has reduced a bit. I will pray until I go and they say, the fibroid has reduced in size. But for them, they will say it is still there. For me, the reduction in size will be the cloud as small as a man's hand. I will continue in prayer. They will say that ah, nothing is happening. For me, I will have seen a cloud as small as a man's hand. I will continue. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody today. We are continuing. We are continuing in prayer. 
We are connected. Others may see them as small things. One person, one visitor comes to church on Sunday. Other people will say it's just one visitor. For me, I'm seeing a cloud as small as a man's hand. I will continue in prayer until the city is saved. I will continue in prayer until the whole university comes to church. I will continue in prayer. I will, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Until tremendous power is released in my family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is somebody switching on this power? Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Until people confess Jesus. Continue in prayer. Until that thing is broken. Like there is a certain trend in your family, you know. Trend means people don't get married or people don't go to university your people don't want and continue in prayer uh, until we see the first graduate in our family i'll continue in prayer you know you there are certain families you hear that people always die at 38 people always die you continue in prayer until somebody makes it to 39 you continue in prayer this one makes it to 49. You continue in prayer until the curse is broken, until the spell is broken. I'll call in prayer until I get my. I call in prayer until the curse is broken off my family. I call in prayer. Hey! Switch on the power. It is within you. The power is with you. Continue in prayer until it is switched on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Switch on the power. One more time. Just write. I will switch on the power. I will switch on the power. Actually write. I will switch on the power endlessly. I will keep switching it off. I will continue in prayer. Yeah. If they ask you. Why are you going for another overnight? I am continuing in prayer. Why are you going for another lunch hour? I am continuing in prayer. Why do you pray too much? I am continuing in prayer. I'm calling, you don't know what I need the power for. You know, people don't know what you need the power for. They, they, they always say, why are you praying so much? Why? They don't know. They don't know that you have a situation that needs tremendous power. They don't know you have an ulcer that is painful inside you and it needs tremendous power. They don't know the dreams you have at night. They don't know the things that you have that you're struggling with that need tremendous power. Ah, Just ignore them and continue. Switching on the power endlessly in the name of Jesus.